Oh, this is the day the Lord has made. Yes, sir. You ought to be glad and rejoice, yes, for the Lord is good. Yes, and has mercy and truth and truth to all generations. Yes, and the Bible says, let the redeemer of the Lord say so, yes, that the Lord is good. Yes. All the earth is the Lord. Yes. And the fullness there yes, is yes, him yes. in the world that dwell there. Yes, sir. For he founded upon the sea yes, and established upon the flood. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord yes, or stand in his holy place? Yes, yes, but he that has clean hands yes, sir. and a pure heart, yes, sir. who has not lifted the soul to vanity, yes, sir. nor sworn deceitfully, yes, he shall receive the righteousness yes, or the blessings yes, of the God of his salvation. Yes, this is the generation that seek him, that seek thee face, O ye Jacob. Yes. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, yes, and be lifted up the everlasting doors. Yes, and the king of glory shall come in. Yes. Who is the king of glory? Yes. The Lord mighty. Yes. The Lord strong and mighty in battle. Yes. Lift the head on he gets. Yes, Even lift him up the everlasting doors. Yes. And the king of glory yes. shall come in. Yes. Who is the king of glory? Yes. The Lord of hosts, he is the king of glory. Yes. And we open up our hearts this morning. Yes, yes. it's sincerity. If you let our mind just relax in yes, Jesus, I say the King of Glory shall come in. Who is the King of Glory? Do you know him, the Lord strong and mighty? The Lord mighty in battle. Who is the King of Glory? Jesus the Christ, the Son of the living God. Let everybody give the Lord a hand of praise. You want the King of Glory to come in? Come on in, Jesus. Praise the Lord. All we got to do is open up this morning. And the King of Glory yes, shall come in. Yes, Alpha and Omega, yes, the beginning and the ending, yes. the bright and the morning star. Yes, we thank the congregation now for our selection. And we proceed on with our worship service in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Yeah.
eat. All our sin and grief to bear. What a privilege it is to carry everything to God in prayer. But oh, what peace you often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain to bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Thank God. Jesus. For the hymn. Yes, sir. Yes, Thank sir. God for the friend called Jesus. Yes, sir. That you can go to him in prayer yes, at any time and any hour. Yes, you ought to tell God, Thank you. Thank you. We now have our scripture this morning. My pastor, Amos Godine, is going to come and read our scripture for us this morning. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Our scripture will be taken out of the book of Luke. Luke 18, chapter, beginning at the 35th verse. We will be reading from the King James Version of the Bible. Luke, the 18th chapter, beginning at the 35th verse. Hear what the Lord has to say to each and every one of us. And it came to pass yeah. that as he was come nigh unto Jericho, a certain blind man sat by the wayside, begging. And hearing the multitude pass by, he asked what it meant. And they told him that Jesus of Nazareth passes by. Yeah. And he cried, saying, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Yes, sir. And that which went before him that he should hold his peace. Hold but he cried so much the more, Thou son of David, have mercy on me. Well. And Jesus stood <coughs> and commanded him to be brought unto him. And when he was come now, he asked him, saying, What wilt thou have me? unto me. And he said, Lord, that I may receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, Receive thy sight, thou faith have saved thee. And immediately he received his sight and followed him, glorifying God and all the people when they saw it give praises unto God. God bless his holy work. Sanctify into our hearts. Do us some good days to come. Amen. Prayer by Reverend Austin. Truly, the Lord is good all the time, children. Look out before me, all I can see is God's grace and God's mercy. Thank God for this opportunity. That old virus is on the rise, children. Hiding, he's hiding all beneath the fingernails. All on the door knob, hiding in the air. We are no, we are a God who knows it all. Yes, sir. Let us bow. Yes. Our Father, yes. 
our creator. Come, master. No form of fashion, he's a Lord fashion. Come realizing that we have children who have missed the ball. Yes, yes. Children who were involved with conflict not even worthy of your children. Yes, yes. Blood them out today, my house Please cast them in your sea unforgetfulness. Yes. Let it never rise, never rise to trouble your children in this war or not, the world to come. Not even to the judge before the judgment bar. We come, master, to cry out to you, sir. Have mercy upon us now. Truly mercy suit our kids. Thank you for your children who come, master. To worship thee in spirit and in truth. Please don't let them get discouraged now. Prop them up on every knee in the corner. Such in that way we can build them up with a torn down. If you are still a revival, not come back to church. Young children, oh, we all need you. Oh, how we need you every hour. We cannot make it without you. This is such an afflicted our father. Though we're less fortunate than we are. Someone, someone, our father, crying out, said, mine, our father, he drifted away. Oh, God, you is a mine regulator. Please fix that one who had a broken heart this morning. For we need you in a time like this, man. Oh, God, please, our father, have to be mindful that we've been bought by the blood of Jesus now. Help us to be mindful that Jesus come to seek and to save. Oh God, who all who cry upon, he will hear our cry. For he promised us, he promised us that he will answer when we call. We call you master because we believe that you is able to do all things now. Bless those children, our Father, who's on a downward road. Stress them with that we can build them up with a torn down. Please, Master, don't forget the stranger that was in that gate. Please, Master, don't pass them by. You didn't pass by blind Bartita. Don't pass them by. Breathe on them. Smile on them that they would know that you is in this place. Oh, Holy Spirit, come, come, come. We cannot wait until you come. Have mercy this morning now. Oh, God, please remember our pastor. Stressing them as we can build them up when he's thrown down. Don't let him get discouraged. Keep feeding me on her. What thus said the Lord? Oh, he needs you, he needs you. Oh, God, please, our father. Please smile on him. Those in our father, Afghanistan. Oh, merciful father, please, please, bind up their broken hearts. Wipe away the tears with your love and kindness. Oh God, how we need you in a time like this. Grandchildren and great grandchildren in the school, in the school capital. Oh God, please keep that virus from off of them. For we need you now. For we need you. Cannot make it without you. Thank you for grace. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for our blood this morning. Angel that watch over all night long and all day. We say, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Roof over our head. Clothes on our back. Shoes on our feet. The teeth that we grind up food with. Some teeth are fall up. Thank you, brother. Gum that back the food together. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We pray we ask it all. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, have mercy.
have mercy on me. On me while I'm praying. While we're in the middle of this pandemic, we need the Lord to have mercy on us. While we're on this journey to and forth, we need the Lord to have mercy on us. And God is shedding mercy on us. But so many don't want to repent and change their ways. And therefore, we believe the Lord's hand is heavy in the land. And people begin to realize that there is a God that we need to serve and honor and give glory to as you repent of our ways. Mark 1 and 15 says the times were filled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe the gospel. Thank God for who he is. We want to thank Pastor Godin for the reading of the scripture. Also want to thank Reverend Austin for the prayer, also for the choral response. And we thank God for you that are here at this hour that uh, press your way to the Lord house. And I tell you, coming to worship service now is not just a routine coming. It's coming by faith. It's coming by faith. You come now, you come because you believe in God. You come now, you come because you want to hear a word from the, it's not It's not out of custom never that you're coming. You're coming because you want to fellowship with the believers. And you want to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. So we thank God for your effort in coming. We're going to need your prayers always that the Lord will keep us. And God is more than able to cover us under his blood and seal us with the Holy Spirit of promise and encamp his angels all around you. The Lord can build up a hedge of fence hey, hey, oh, upon you and yes, shield you. Yes, yes. Even though a thousand fall at the side, yes, 10,000 at thy right hand, yes. none shall come nigh thee. Yes, Only with thy eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Yes, and so we want to comply and come under uh, the umbrella and the shelter of God Almighty yes, in yes, these delicate yes. times oh, yes. in which we are living now. To God be the glory. I want to ask the congregation for a selection, and after that selection, uh, we'll, with the Lord help, we Jesus. stand before you with us. Yes. It says the Lord, it's all done in the name of Jesus Christ. Do you know it? Yes. Yes. Call his name Jesus. Jesus. Yes. Call his name Jesus. All yes. oh, praise the Lord. Ain't the Lord all right? Yes. 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 I don't feel no wisdom, Lord. I come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me that road.
was crippled. Oh, yeah. 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 Hey. But God I brought me. He brought me this far. I was sick. Yeah. Yeah. He brought me this God he I don't believe. He brought me this far. He brought me. Hey, yeah. yes, sir.
Church, certainly we thank the Lord for all those in the Lord house at this time, all the ministers that are here. We thank God for them in the presence of Almighty God, yes. knowing that this is the Lord's house. Yes, sir. And we come to make a joyful noise yes, in the midst of everything that is going on. God has allowed us to come, and certainly we are eternally grateful to the Lord for that. And we are Amen. continuously praying for the Lord keeping power upon us, not only upon us, but upon our families yes, and upon the whole world as it stands today. Yes. In the Gospel of Luke, the 18th chapter, the scripture that was read earlier, we want to read verse 40 through 43. Luke the 18th chapter, scripture that was read earlier. We want to read now in verse 40 through 43, where the Spirit, Jesus, is yes. day. Hallelujah. For well, the Lord has led us for this hour. Sometimes we just don't understand, but we beg God what he want us to bring. Yes. Yes. And this is what the Lord has laid on my heart. Yes. 
and we through with this sermon, we already preaching, Lord, what to bring next Sunday Amen. if it's God's will. And we continue that all week long, yes. hoping that we will receive bread from heaven early. Yes. Yes, but the Lord moves in his own time. Yes. Yes. And he's ready. Yes. He moves. Yes. So we yes. just surrender to yes. the will of the Lord. Yes. Yes. And we try not to do anything that is the Lord don't want us to do. Yes. Try not to stand here and proclaim what the Lord has not laid upon our heart to Amen. bring because I need the Lord with me. Amen. Anybody need God with me? Yeah. I say I need the Lord with me. Yeah. Not only the day, I need, I need him every day. Yeah. I need him every step I take, yeah. every breath that I breathe. Yeah. When I lay down at night, yeah. when I'm on a dangerous highway, yeah. I need the Lord yeah. with me. Yeah. And he promised to be my shepherd that will lead us by the green pastures in the still waters. And if it get rough, he'll restore our soul. Yes, sir. And he'll keep us yes, sir. on the path of righteousness. Oh, he'll do it for his name's sake. Yes, and there's a valley yeah. that we in right now. Yes, but thank God for the shepherd in the valley. Yeah. I say you ought to thank God for the shepherd in the valley. But yeah, do our walk to the valley of the shadow of death. I thank God for the shepherd in the valley. When the road of life get rough, when trials and tribulations seem overbearable, you got a shepherd in the valley if you got Jesus. Yeah, that'll walk you through this valley of death and bring you safely on the other side. But in Luke, the 18th chapter, we want to read this together, my brother and my sister, beginning with the 40th birth. And we ask, let us begin reading. And Jesus stood and commanded him to be brought unto him. And he was come there and asked him, saying, What wilt thou that I shall do unto thee? And he said, Lord, that I may receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, Receive thy sight, thy faith has saved thee. And immediately he received his sight and followed him, glorifying God. And all the people that they saw it give praise unto God. And that's our idea, our theme, our service this morning. Give praise unto who? Give praise unto God. Yes, sir. So many people like to praise themselves. Oh, the automobile and everything else, the money, yeah. gold and silver. Yeah. But we ought to give praise yeah. unto God. Yeah. Let us pray. Lord, I praise you for this hour, for this day. I praise you for this Lord's day. For these thy people, I give you thanks, Lord, that we have come once again. And we come to lift up no other name but the name of Jesus. Because the word of God tells us, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. So we are to lift up the name of Jesus. We want to lift the name up, Lord, that you might draw those that don't know you, Lord. Draw those that are lost in the name of Jesus Christ. Draw us into a saving grace, Draw us into the wisdom and the knowledge of who the Lord is. Draw us, Lord, dear God, Jesus, to eternal life. Draw us to victory, yeah, over the enemy. Draw us into victory over this virus that plague in the land right now, Lord. Oh, in the name of Jesus. We come, Lord, because we need you, Lord. Oh, we ask that the Holy Ghost come down and be our teaching, our preacher, Lord. As a God is into all truth, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we surrender this worship service to the power of the Holy Ghost and to preach our Lord under the authority and power of the Holy Ghost, Jesus, because he is our teacher, he is our guide, our comforter, and he is the power that we might live for you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In the name, Lord, we thank you, Lord. We bless your name, we glorify
glorify your name. And they lift up the name of Jesus in praise. Hallelujah, Lord. Let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be accepted in thy sight, O Lord, thy strength and thy redeemer. It is the name of Yahshua, Jesus the Christ, the Son of the living God, we pray. Amen. Amen. Yes. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Which is the come. 
said the Lord, he is the Almighty. He is El Shatta, El Shaddai, God Almighty. You see, before there was any day or night, even a morning, sunrise or sunset, or any form of life, it was the Lord that said, let there be, and there was. Oh, give praise unto God, for he is worthy. Lord, we honor you, reverence you, respect you to the highest, but help us, Lord, to honor you with our life living. That is the greatest praise and the greatest miracle that you would ever find when the Lord save a soul. When the Lord take a devil out the world and turn him into a son and daughter of God. When you see a change in somebody's life. Oh, that's the greatest miracle you ever see in your life. Or oh, Romans, the 12th chapter, and the first verse says, I beseech you, I plead with you. Therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to the Lord. For this is your reasonable service, and be not conformed to this world, but be you transformed by the renewing of your mind. Our mind needs renewing because you've heard so many things over the years. Our mind needs regulating to the ways of God. Oh, brothers and sisters, with the Lord help in this dark age of sin. Let us give praise unto God by presenting our bodies as a living sacrifice unto God. Jesus said in Matthew, the fifth chapter, in the 16th verse, let your light shine before men, that he may see our good works and glorify our Father in heaven. Let our life living be an example to others what God can do. Let our life living be an example to others. Yeah, that would be hunger and eager to come into the kingdom of God and to receive Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Yeah. Let us give praise unto God with our life living. Let us love the Lord our God with all our heart, mind, and our soul. Yeah. And our second and like it to it, let us love our neighbor as thyself. Yeah. Oh, give praise unto God. Come, my brothers and sisters, for Jesus is on a journey. Yes. Luke tells us, He's traveling through Jericho. Yeah. Jericho is believed to be one of the oldest cities in the world and the first city Israel conquered under the leadership of Joshua right. as they entered into the promised land. Jericho where the priests step in the river of Jordan, yeah, and the river piled up on two sides yeah. and they crossed over, yeah, the Jordan River. Yeah. Jericho yeah, where they brought down those great walls with a seven-day march. Yes. Six days they marched around the wall of Jericho, and they didn't say a word, but on the seventh day, they praised God, and the walls came tumbling down. Yes. But here in these passages of Scripture, Jesus the Christ, the one that is called I Am. Yeah, all around him and all through him. Yeah, Jesus the one that is called I am is passing through Jericho with blessings in his hand. Passing through Jericho with blessings all around him and all in him and flowing all the way through his garment. Yeah, yeah oh, give praise unto God. Yeah. The 35th verse says, And it came to pass that as he was nigh unto Jericho, a certain blind man set by the wayside baby. Yes, Notice now Luke does not give us the beggar's name. Right. Only that he was physically blind. Yes. And because of his blindness, his only means of income and support was to beg. Yes. This beggar is in a helpless and desperate situation for begging is not really an honorable way to make a living. No, no, especially for a person who is more than willing to work and more than willing to do for themselves. Begging robs a person of his or her dignity and self-esteem. Begging is dependent on the help of someone else. Begging puts you in a position where you have to accept whatever a person gives you. Begging puts you into the lowest level 
of human life. Yeah. For you have hit rock bottom with nowhere else to turn and nowhere else to go. Begging yeah. makes you uh, the talk uh, of the town. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can hear them whispering yes. in the houses. You wouldn't guess who I see out on the highway going from door to door begging. Begging, yeah. yeah, makes you the talk of town. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, if the Lord has blessed you today, yeah. but you don't have to beg, you ought to give God praise. Yeah. If the Lord bless you with health and strength yeah. and eyes to see that you can go on your job, yeah. you ought to tell God, thank you. Yeah, yeah I'm still able to to do for myself. Yeah, yeah if you're not a uh, homeless today, yeah. yeah, you ought to tell God, thank you. If you're not out on the street, yeah, give him praise. Praise him for keeping you in this pandemic. Praise him or oh, praise the Lord. You're not on the bed of affliction. You're not connected to the ventilator, you ought to tell God thank you. You can breathe off your own. And while you can breathe, you ought to give God some praise. Too many people, yeah, not willing to tell God thank you. Thank me. Thank you, God, for keeping me. Yeah, I don't mind. Yeah, begging God. There's one thing I don't mind begging God for, and, and that is, Lord, yeah, I don't want to beg for other things if I can get around it, but there's one thing I don't mind begging God for, and that is, Lord, have mercy on me, have mercy on my family, have mercy on my community, have our children going back to school in this dangerous time. Lord, have mercy on our nation. Have mercy on the doctors and the nurses who have been fighting this virus for about two years now. I don't mind falling down on my knees. In fact, when I lay down at night, I be crying out, Lord, have mercy on us. We need a dark I need God mercy. Have mercy on our nation. Have mercy on our young people. Shooting and killing. Oh God, have mercy. We need mercy. Praise the Lord. Mm. The 36th verse says, In hearing the multitude pass by, he asked what it meant. He could not see with his eyes, but he was listening. Anybody listening? The blind man, Luke, doesn't give his name, uh, but we believe it to be Bartimaeus. But Luke doesn't give his name. Luke said, a certain man. Yeah, and he couldn't see with his eyes, but he was uh, listening. Oh, he that has ears to hear. Let them hear what the Spirit says to the church. Because our faith is increased by the hearing of God's word. We ought to pay attention to what the Bible says. He couldn't see with his eyes, but he was listening. And they told him that Jesus of Nazareth passed by and immediately he cried saying Jesus thou son of David have mercy on me and they which went before rebuke him that he should hold his peace but he cried so much the more 
Now, son of David, have mercy on me. Brothers and sisters, the blind beggar did not see Jesus with his eyes, but he saw Jesus with his heart. He believed in his heart. Notice, he did not allow anyone to stop him from receiving his miracle. That's a lesson for us. Yeah, he did not allow anyone to stop him from receiving his miracle. That's a lesson for us. And that is, do not allow anyone or anything, no man, woman, boy, girl, or any material thing stop you short of your blessings. Don't even let your pride stop you short of your blessing. Some people got too much pride. Yeah, and then because of their pride, they miss out on their blessing. But you gotta humble yourself, behold before the mighty hands of God, and he will exhort you in due time. Instead of them trying, yeah, to stop the blind man, they all should have a join in. Yeah, the blind man bought a meal. So, or a certain blind man, they all should have joined in as the hymn writer says, pass me not to Oh, gentle sin, hear my humble cry. While on others thou art calling, please do not pass me by. For when you start passing out a blessing, please don't forget about me. The beggar called Jesus the son of David. Me and he believed Jesus to be the long awaited Messiah who was to come. Listen, the multitude heard him cry out, Thou son of David, have mercy on me. So many heard it, but so many to refuse to believe Jesus to be the Messiah. So many heard it, but so many refuse to believe Jesus is the Messiah. Yeah, Jesus stood. He stopped and commanded him to be brought unto him. Oh, praise the Lord. Yeah, for the cry that can get God attention. Yeah, the cry that can get God attention, that can receive God attention, is a cry that's going to receive a blessing. As he cried out, the Bible says Jesus stood. You ought to cry out to the Lord until the Lord hear you. He stood. He stopped and commanded to be brought unto him. Oh Lord, help us fix our heart that when we cry out to heaven that the Lord will stop and hear our cry and ask us he came there and asked him oh saying what will I should do unto thee and he said Lord yeah that I may receive my sight I'm willing to work I'm willing to do for myself I'm tired of begging yeah, these people, all I want is my sight. All I want is my sight. If they give me my sight, I'll work. If they give me my sight, that's all I need. I'm tired of depending on somebody else. Oh, Lord, all I need is my sight. And Jesus said to him, receive thy sight. Thy faith has saved thee, brothers and sisters. It is our faith in God that will save us. Faith in God that will heal us. Faith in God that will protect us and set our soul free. Because without faith, it is impossible to please God. Faith is not what we see with our eyes, but we believe in our heart can be done through the power of Jesus Christ. Anybody believe God is able to move this virus? I can't see it, but I'm praying on the hour. Minister the hour, Lord, please help us to repent and come to our senses that you might move this virus. Oh, Lord, we need 
a change? Do you believe God is able? Do you believe he got the power? Do you believe a change is coming? We got to believe. And immediately he received his sight and followed him glorifying God. And all the people when they saw it give praise unto God. After receiving his sight, the beggar followed Jesus, glorifying God and all the people. Notice now, the same people who rebuke him, the same people who tried to stop him, the same people who told him the whole of peace is now giving praise unto God. I say to you today, take your eyes and your mind off people and place your faith in Jesus Christ. Take your eyes off the circumstances and look to the hills for we've come with our help. My help come from the Lord which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He who keeps me never slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel never slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon the right hand. And the sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in. Henceforth now and forever, let us take our minds and our heart of our circumstances and look to the hill for which cometh our help. Take your eyes and your hope of the world and place your hope in Jesus Christ. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name, on Christ. On Christ, the Son of God will stand, because all of the ground is sick and sane. Take your eyes off your troubles and fall in love with Jesus. Take your eyes off your trouble and fall in love with Jesus. For First Peter five and seven says, "Cast all your cares upon the Lord, all your worries, all your disappointments, all your fears." And all your frustration, uh, cast it uh, upon the Lord uh, because He careth for you. Uh, well, uh, if you know in your heart uh, that Jesus uh, is keeping you alive, uh, give praise uh, unto God. Uh, who woke you up this morning? Uh, do you know Jesus uh, is keeping you alive? Uh, if you're in your right mind, uh, give praise unto God. Uh, if you have food to eat, hold the way and shoes on your feet. Yeah, and some to lay your every head, give praise unto God. If you're not on the bed of affliction, give praise unto God. If you know God been good to you, pray to you from a mighty long way, give praise unto God. If you were lost, but Jesus found you, he came looking for you, knocking on your door, and he found you, and he called your name, took you in, I said, the Lord took you in, if you know the Lord took you in, give praise unto God, it was grace, it's grace, it's God grace, that has brought us, it's God grace, that is keeping us alive. Oh, amazing grace. How sweet the song. Save an old wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. I was blind, but now I see. Do you know Jesus brought you up this morning? Watch to me all night long. You ought to give praise unto God. Because if it had not been for the Lord on your side, where would you be? God can Yes, we have. Oh, last year, God has brought us. Men have died. But for some reason, God has kept us. You ought to tell God, thank you. Kept you and your family and still keep you. You ought to praise him and never stop. You ought to give him glory. Lord has healed me.
you. The Lord has delivered many of you. You could have lost your mind, but God has kept you. You ought to give God praise. He's ordering the steps right now. You ought to give God praise. Took you in, wash in his blood, clean you up. You ought to tell God, thank you. Lord, I thank you. You've been good. If it was not for the Lord, where would I be? The angel would have swallowed up whole. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for dying on the cross. But early on the third day morning, you rose because he loved you. You rose because he wanted to save you and give you a mission on high. Praise the Lord. Give him glory. Give him honor. Give him glory in the morning, in the evening, hour on hour. So, Lord, I thank you.
God mercy is being shared upon us. And soon, with our children back inside the schoolhouse, we have to pray like never before. And while we pray, give God praise. When they come home, give God praise. If they come home safe, give God praise. Fall down with your children. And thank God for keeping them. For we in some dangerous times. So we cannot overlook what the Lord is doing. We got to look to the hill. We're to come up with our help. And join in with family prayer. Ask the Lord to allow us to go out and to come in. He is a mighty shepherd. For those who might not know Jesus in the pardon of his sins, the Bible says we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus. Believe in our heart that God is raised from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. At this time, you can confess Christ as your Savior. Ask him to come into your heart. And to receive you as one of his own. He'll do it. He'll do it. Don't put the day off for tomorrow. For the morrow is not promised to no man, woman, boy, or girl. In these critical times, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. The Lord do not want us to perish. And he's calling. It's not hard. All we have to do is follow the instructions of God's word and the Lord does the work. He does the saving. We cannot save ourselves. We follow what the word says sincerely and God works in our heart and begins to make the transformation within our heart and our mind. Let us pray. Lord, eternal Father, Lord, we thank you yet again for another day and another opportunity. We thank you, Lord, for every prayers that have been up. And Lord, the cry, like the certain blind man cried, and you stood you stopped and you commanded him to be brought forward and you ask him what will you have me to do for you? We cry. Help our cry to be in such a manner that you would stop and let her listen to the air and then say what would you have me to do for you? Lord we thank you because the eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open to their cry. The righteous cry and the Lord hear their cry and deliver them out of all their trouble. We're crying out now for families. We're crying out, Lord, for those that don't know you may come to know who you are. We're crying out for our children, Lord, as they have returned back to school in a most dangerous time, Lord. We're asking your protection. We're asking that your angels and your blood covering upon our children, Lord, to be with them and upon the teachers in the classroom and everybody that's connected, Lord, the bus drivers, everybody, Lord, that's involved, we ask that you would be with them and move the spirit, Lord, that is in the school, that's bringing on fights and all these uh, frustrations, Lord, move these spirits out of the school in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. Oh, we need you like never before, Lord. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. Our leaders need you. The church needs you, Lord. But you said in the word upon this rock, I build my church and the gates of hell should not prevail against it. Lord, we believe your word and we come standing on that rock, the rock of our salvation, Jesus the Christ, the son of the living God. We call on the Lamb of God now. Please forgive us for our sins and our transgression, all the things that we've done. We don't want nothing hidden in our prayer. We don't want nothing hidden in our protection. We don't want nothing hidden in our blood covering. We don't want nothing hidden in yeah, the angels and camp around us. We don't want to grieve the Holy Spirit. We need all of God. And we're looking to you, Lord. Have mercy upon us, Lord. Walk with us day by day. Bring us into the knowledge of who you are. And we know you are a healer. We know you Jehovah Rapha. Somebody in here right now need a text for you, Lord. Somebody got a problem, got infirmity, and we ask that you move now. Lead a miraculous way, Lord, and bring forth the healing and the living that the stand in need of. We know you're able. We 
Hebrews got the power because there ain't nothing uh, too hard for the Lord. Uh, move, Lord. Oh, uh, move uh, like only you can. Uh, we sit in the mountain uh, of kidney failure. Be thou move. Uh, diabetes. Uh, back problem. Uh, knee problem. Uh, no problem. Uh, whatever it is. Uh, all time. Uh, the Lord can do to you uh, and command you to leave. Uh, right now, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, you're trespassing. Uh, you're trespassing. Uh, you're trespassing. Uh, I'm filling the Holy Ghost. Uh, I'm washing the blood. Uh, I'm washing the blood. Uh, and it was wounded uh, for my transgression. Uh, and with the stripes, uh, I declare healing uh, in the land. 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 According to the promises of God's word. Lord, we thank you and we come to do In Jesus' name we pray. Let the saints of the living God say, I believe, I receive, and amen. to his word. All the promises of God in him, yea, 
And in him, amen. I say, amen. amen. We going now and let the church say, amen. amen. Yes. Let us now all sing together. Amen. Yes. Yes. 